Hi, um, I'm Khan, and uh, this is the 10 years anniversary of Studio Hive exhibition. So basically, we've done a lot of uh, statue concept designs, we've done comics, we've done games, and in this event, in this exhibition, we have a bit of everything to show to the, the people who come to our event. Most of the stuff that we have on display here is the concepts. Many of them are unreleased, you know, it's like on our, on our office wall, and we just take it out and then bring it here. So many of them is previously unreleased. And there are a few companies that we work for. We have uh, XM here, Oniri Creations, Real Studio, Prime One, um, First Four Figures, there's a lot more. So in here, you can, show, you can see the wall that we, we have a few different characters from anime to Marvel, DC, and a little bit of a work in progress or our step-by-step -step working um, procedure to show to people who come and attend this event. Then we have the Hearthstone cards that we've been working with Hearthstone for since the very, very beginning. So we brought that here. We have some works from the Left Alive, the game which we work with uh, Yoji Shinkawa, the designer of Metal Gear for Square Enix. And then we have our um, Transformers box art for uh, Flame Toys. And then um, we, I think we were the first one in Thailand to have a comic art on an art gallery. So this is quite exciting. A lot of people come to me and then say, hey, this is really cool that you can come into the art gallery and then you can check out comic arts. So we can see, you know, Venom, Carnage. Scan, my partner Scan, the designer of of our art director. He's very well known for his Venom art. There's a movie version, there's a comic version. Some of them, there's one where we show Todd McFarlane and then he, the one with Venom with wings and, and Todd really liked it and then he signed it for us. So that's on display here. We have work that was, we did with Stan Lee. That's the very, very beginning of our studio, uh, probably 10 years back. Um, we got a World Guinness record for that and Stan's sign poster is right here on display as well. We have some these um, variant covers from Marvel and DC and which we printed out in our own studios like we controlled. Sometimes when you when you see the, the comic in the in the shops you know there's some some print when you print it out when they print out from the comic stores. Sometimes the colors get disoriented a little bit and we, everything we showed here, we calibrate the color ourselves. So it's on display as, it, as, we, as the way we want it to be um, shown. So it's a little, a little bit more vibrant than you would see in your um, comic stores. So, and then we have also one movie that we worked on that is very, very Japanese. We redesigned uh, an old character a classic character called Red Baron and Silver Kamen from the, I don't know, 60s, 50s in Japan. And then we totally redesigned it, updated it, and they get turned into a movie. And we have some of them on display here on our props design, character design, and even the maquette that was used to film the movie. We also have some of the scans original work from way back, from 2005 when he was still doing like trackball mouse. So those, he's like really well known in the industry at that time as the guy who still uses the trackball mouse. Of course now we all use Wacom's and tablets, but we have two here on display that's actually made with a trackball mouse. So that's, that's kind of crazy. And um, his personal works on display here, just a small part. All of the event here is very, very, um, small compared to what, what the work we have done because of the limited space we only bring in I would say 10% 15% of what we've done in the past 10 years of each category so um, when the people come here they're very happy to see to see that okay this is 
this is geek art. This is what what they love. This is pop culture art, and they all come to me and then say, "Hey, thanks for making this happen in an actual art gallery," and to make them feel like we're not we're not a, a guy sit, sitting in a corner, you know, drawing comics or um, playing video games in a dark room anymore. We feel they feel like they're welcome here. They feel like, hey. This is our our time, you know. The gig rules the world now, you know. Box office records and all that. So they come here, they see our Iron Man work that we did for the movie. So they feel like, hey, this is the first time. This is a, a great first step. And then we hope we hope that we can repeat repeat doing this maybe um, once a year. We maybe we we plan to bring this one this exhibition to overseas as well. So well, let's see how that happens. To all the fans that have supported us in the past 10 years, um, I think we, we did a lot of um, iconic pieces for the collectible industry, and we'll, we're still very, very happy to be working in this field. And then I see a lot of comments from you guys that, that if you, you like the design, um, we really, really appreciate it. And we'll still be doing all this until we get bored of it. And I don't think we'll do that anytime soon. So um, in 2020, we will do something more, uh, something exciting, and then hopefully you guys are coming along and um, check out our work in the future.